drop the puck on this opening faceoff. This is what you played for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Moves it to Shifley. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Terry. The Jets look to start the transition game. Connors got it behind his own net. The Jets will play it in their own end. And they send it right back to him. And they'll go on the attack after that turnover. Picked up along the wall by Vetrano. Oh, just a great heads up play by Morrissey. Here's a short pass to Ehlers. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Winnipeg's got possession at center. Moves it quickly over to Ehlers. Oh, what a hit on the wall. Yeah, that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. Anaheim's got possession here in their own end. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Turned aside with a glove by Hellebuck. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Well, Lardy's won a big draw on their own end. The Jets have it now. Gaining momentum along the wing. And that's intercepted. Leobushkin's got it along the wing. Hellebuck's gonna hang on for a whistle. Face off, they take the puck. Quick feed to Labushkin. Here they come on the attack. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. He got all of that hit. Slides the puck ahead to Labushkin. And now it's over to Carlson. Slick feed. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Appleton. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Puts it in deep. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. And now it's to Nemestikov. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Pushes it across to Lindstrom. Sends it out in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. There's back-to-back -back saves. Man, James, it shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Oh, and he just puts it wide in the net. Trying to get back on the attack now. And he loses control of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Chisholm. Throws it in. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Sets the pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Connor. Denies the shooter on that play. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puck battle along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Connor. Passes it over to Morrissey. Great pass from off the right side. Handles the pass. Slides it over with pace to Niederreiter. Textbook poke check by Gudis. Here's a shot, and he shuts the door on that. Slides it on over to Kalorn. Here's a chance. Shot, and that one's turned away. Passes over to Morrissey. Great quick check on the reach. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. The Jets gain control of the puck. Winnipeg's looking to break out. 
Niederreiter swooping in on the attack. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Oh, my, you can feel it from here. Well, that has to hurt. He's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Puck scooped up by Gustafson, and it's a quick pass to Barron. And he slides it quickly to Lowry. Great use of the stick at center by Leo Bushkin. Here's a chance, and he was ready for that one. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Here in the late goings of the period, Still looking for our first goal. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Dumps the puck in. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. From off the wall and onto a stick. Anaheim's got the puck against the boards. Pokes it away in his own end. Connor's got the puck in his own zone. Ehlers is on the attack. How did he stop that one? Sends a pass over. Makes his presence known on the ice. Quick pass across to Shifley. And he takes the pass. Anaheim's got the puck. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. There's a chance in front, and that's stopped. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Coughs it up on the play. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. considering the amount of possession time that they've had. Coaching staff would have told them in the second period they just need to continue what they're doing, except they have to find ways to drive the paint a little more and create a little more chaos in front of the goaltender. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Face off looming as both centers get into position. And they take possession after the defensive zone face off. And the puck's kicked free. Looks to start the transition game behind the net. Quick pass to Matrano. Takes the feed. With the stop. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hellebuck. Cutting to the front of the net, and they continue to apply pressure here. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Winnipeg's gained possession. Handles the puck. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. Takes the feed. Too many bodies in the way. He got all of that one. Moves it to Strom. Oh, what a chance here. Oh, my goodness, what a save there. Takes 
it across the blue line. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. The Ducks take it along the wing. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. And they cough it up at center. Puck picked up by Nemestikov. Here's a short pass to Perfetti. Oh, the razzle-dazzle! Played big in the moment there. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And that pass goes off a stick. And he slides it quickly to Nemestikov. Launches him into the boards. Takes the feed from the left side. And he takes the dish. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What a goal! Wow, James, that was just a blast from the high slot. Not sure where the coverage went, though. The coach is not going to be very impressed with the lack of support in the defensive zone. Anaheim's rolling now, having taken a one-goal lead here in the second. Well, yeah, they got to be a wave of momentum that continues to push and press now, James, as they seem to have control of the game right now. They can't give any momentum back to their opponent. Slides the puck over. Pushes it across to Schmidt. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Oh, what a great save by Gibson. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Receives the pass. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Feeds it down low. And he takes the feed. And it takes a shot. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Ah, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. I hear coaches preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Past the halfway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. The Jets get a hold of the puck off the draw. Moves it quickly over to Connor. And that's a smart heads up play by Carrick. Tosses it on to McGinn. Looking to make something happen at center. McGinn's got the puck. Quick feed to Carrick. Puck grab by Ehlers. Winnipeg's through center and now in the offensive end. Into the corner now. And that's intercepted by Fowler. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Winnipeg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Poked away in the offensive zone by McGinn. The Ducks play the puck from the back of the net. Slides it quickly to Gudis. Big time hit along the boards and there's no give there. Well, there is, man. You can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Velarde's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Shot! And too much shot! Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front! Well, and this has been trending to happen, James, and then closing on the puck with lead sends an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will.
The Jets are up by one, and this is certainly a team that seems to play with more confidence when they're not chasing the game, Cheryl. Yeah, it's always better to be when you're in front, James. I mean, you know that you have the lead. You have a little more confidence when the puck's on your stick, but there's a lot of runway left. They have to play with that confidence, but they have to manage the puck as well. Strong defensive effort. Quick pass to DeMello. Dillon's got it in the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Forces the turnover. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Hammers it. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James. And you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated, and they've pushed their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep bugging away here and not get complacent. Winnipeg's been dominating the pace of play all night, and Cheryl, they've now extended this lead to two. It's been a dominant performance, James, right from the puck drop, and now they'll be heading into the intermission. They'll want to make sure that they reset. You know their coaching staff is going to be telling them, listen, right from the third period on, we've got to find a way to finish, execute, and continue what we started. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Moves it to Nemestikov. The Ducks pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Terry. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Halifax has been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Appleton's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Nemestikov. Came up with a save on that play. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Here's the chance to set up now. And it's a quick pass to Bakadainen. Great save by Hillebuck. Everybody can go Check it out, Sean. How low can you get? Can you get back? of this period. Winnipeg's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Ducks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. And that goes off course off a body. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Winnipeg's moving it along the wing. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Who's the puck? Just slide to the net. Taken along the wall by Gustafson. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Shot. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. drop the puck on period number three. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Takes it from the right side. Slides it diagonally to Shifley. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. There's another hit, and you get a sense that this is a game plan to go after him tonight here, Cheryl. Well, he certainly has a bullseye or target on his back, James. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. Puck dumped in. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick feed to Matrano. Anaheim's on the attack. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Works it across to Fowler. Takes a wrist shot. Taken by Connor. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Here's a shot. Oh, club save and a beauty. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Lots of time left in this period. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. And that's knocked away by Niederreiter. And a solid save there as we play on. Three, 
The Jets have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. McTavish has won it in their own end. Oh, and a smart heads-up play with the big pass. And that goes off a player. Quick pass to Ayafalo. And a great heads-up defensive play here. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. He got all of that hit on the play. Handles the pass in center. Here he is. He's got a stop. He scores. Oh, wow. What a finish. Well, I love that he used his speed and didn't slow down, James. And it's all about patience and composure, outweighting the goaltender, finding the room and burying it. I love his awareness on this breakaway. His head is up the entire way, and he's reading exactly what the goaltender is giving him. He sees some daylight, quick release shot, and he buries it. Winnipeg's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. The Ducks win possession here in the open ice. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Silverberg's got it in the defensive end. Moves it to Henry. Misses a golden opportunity there. Real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. Fires it into the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. A chance for Burke! And it goes off a stick and off target. Jones gains the zone. Takes it to the net! Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Hellebuck. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Winnipeg's been way more active here tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. The Ducks win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. With the stop. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Winnipeg's been going in one direction all night long, and that's to the net, and they lead it in this third. And they win the draw here in their own end. Schmidt stick handling in his own zone. Knocked away in the offensive zone. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Ducks get a hold of it. Shot! Got eyes up on the play! Oh. Hellebuck's been incredible tonight and seems to get better with every save that he makes. His confidence is gaining, and man, he has been electric between the pipes. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Moves it quickly over to Fowler. And he's ridden off the puck. Tosses it to Shifley. Oh, he blocked him on the play! Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. More than half the frame has been played here. The Jets are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4-1. The Ducks win the draw. And now it's grabbed by Fowler. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Nice zone entry from the left. Broken up by Fowler. I'll make a change. Stroms across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Oh, it looked like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. Denies it in front. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Hellebuck's 
got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. Puck scooped up by Pionk. Here's a short pass to Niederreiter. And things start to ramp up. Scores! Deuces wild as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two tallies on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the forecheck. He's hounded and he's hunted it. And guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. That's just a heads-up shot. He saw the five-hole open and the quick delivery of the puck beats the goaltender clean. Offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Takes the feed. My follow has been fantastic in terms of distributing the puck tonight, James. Not a shot first mentality, but a pass first mentality. His awareness is off the charts. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Leah Bushkin. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Takes the pass. Fantastic save! The Ducks will play it in their own end. The Jets have it against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And it's kicked away. Picked up along the boards by Leah Bushkin. Slip feed. Oh, a clutch save! Oh, he hammered it. Oh, you knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. And he can't hang on after that hit. And this squad has really put the pressure on now. goings of the period. The Jets have been all over them tonight. 5-1 is where we sit. Lowry's won the draw inside his own end. Handles the pass. Great defensive effort with the stick. Grabbed along the boards by Lowry. And now he angles it across to Gustafson. Less than six seconds left here in the final frame. Takes a shot, and he makes a save there. Sends a pass over. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Here's a pass in front. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Now a quick pass to Connor. Well, this team clearly has their eyes on the prize after now taking a second straight win to go up to zip. Yeah, and you know that the talk in the room will be about. It'll be about staying present and in the moment. That is one game at a time, because in order to have Killer Instinct, you got to find a way to take care of business today. Not yesterday, today. She's Cheryl Pounder. I'm James Sabalski. The playoffs roll on in the next broadcast, and we know we will see you right then and there. Join us then. See you.